today, Texas baseball fans. I'm DJ Ramirez with the Waco Tribune Herald, here with former Baylor baseball infielder Davis Wenzel. Um, how you doing? Doing good. Just uh, got off a win, so that's always a good sign. And, yeah, doing good. Awesome. Yeah, well, last time we saw you, you were just getting drafted by the Texas Rangers, and now you're one of their top prospects here in Round Rock. So just what, was, what has this journey been like for you? It's been a long journey. You know, I've been drafted in 19 and hoped it would go maybe a little a little bit faster, but just a couple different injuries and different things I uh, set me aside. But I'm, I'm here in AAA now playing some playing some good baseball and on a good team. So, um, yeah, it's going well. I spent a whole off season, you know, just spending time being able to stay healthy for a full season. Um, year before, I broke my hammy, which sucked, but just kind of a fluke injury. Um, and then last year was the back. And, uh, I think I did some good PT this off season and figured out a good routine to keep me on the field. Um, you've been hitting just off the charts. You know, got the player of the month last for, for May. Um, just what are some things that you've been working on uh, offensively and uh, that are working for you? I mean, you've got, I think, 16 home runs so far this season, so that's pretty good numbers. Yeah, um, just trying to find some consistency. Uh, beginning of the year, um, so felt really good in spring and then came here and it just didn't wasn't clicking and so it's a long season so you just keep going but I've been working on finding consistency kind of finding the same stroke I had back in college and, and been finding stuff that's working and, and it's a hard game so you're gonna go through good times and bad times but you just gotta find stuff that you can stay steady with. For a while you were here with your old college roommate Cody Bradford mm -hmm. and, uh, what was that like and you know what what's it been like to just be on the same team still and watching him go up to the big league club and do his thing? Yeah, it's been really fun, you know, uh, we were roommates for two years there and now we're, we're both living real close to each other here and so we've been playing a lot of golf on the off days and just whenever we get time on road trips we're, we're hanging out and, but it's really fun to play. He's been play with him and he's been pitching great out there so it's been, it's been fun to watch him. And then Shailene O'Leary is just also one of your old teammates and he's up in Atlanta, not Atlanta anymore, <laughs> Oakland. Um, but. Uh, you know, just have y'all ever talked to each other about like the possibility of like when everybody's up in the big leagues playing against each other, especially like I think I'm everybody that's been drafted in the past five years, a lot of them are on West Division teams. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a big possibility of us all playing against each other one day for sure. Um, we all just gotta keep playing well and staying healthy, and, and that's kind of what we all talk about is just staying healthy and, and being able to do our thing. So. What are you hopeful for? Um, the rest of the season and then coming in the next few years? Yeah, just trying to stay healthy every day, get a little bit better and uh, figure out, like I said, to find that, that consistency that's going to that's gonna keep me playing for a long time. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Davis. Yeah, no it was great to see you yeah, again. Thank you.